So we've just cleaned the winch, Roland. It all looks pretty good in the bucket. Um, which bits do I need to assemble before I start putting it back together? Well, the best place to start is the pulls and gears. Uh, okay. The pulls can, can be a little bit tricky me? to get in. So if I do one, fish this one out as well. Can you talk yeah. me through it? Which bit goes inside that one? That's one inside, yeah. So I don't need that part. So this is the pull and spring. Mm -hmm. The spring, you just need to push it in that slot there. Push it against the back face of the pool using your thumb and forefinger, like so. So down with the thumb. What if I've sprung it away there? I mean, how many <laughs> spares come in a kit with these things? Uh, it's worth having a few on board just Is in it? case that happens. <laughs> uh, but really, once a bit of practice and try and do it over the bucket, and hopefully okay. you won't lose a spring. Just hold slide in the slot it in there, there and just slide it in. You just might need to just push it in with your other thumb there. And there okay. it is in place position there. Sometimes they're quite tricky to get out and I use um, a big fat sailing needle and I push the little spring in and yep. then slide it up there. Uh, some of the pool gears have actually got a little slot in there to locate the spring to stop it falling out. So is there a little click? I mean moving it around, okay it feels quite secure. It's, it's obviously secure in the slot. Yeah. Uh, I mean it is another place where to look for wear on the pool because this slot could get enlarged with years of uh, use and the pool might slot out. So. It's another place to look for. Make sure the spring's embedded, embedded okay. in there. Okay, so let me do one now. Do you have a spare spring for me? Thank you. So I'll put it in the slot and sort of bend it down into yep, place. Yeah, thumb forefinger. Okay, and then just slide it in. All right, great. That's good. So. Now, servicing of the pool gears, we only actually put oil on these pools. We don't use grease. Why? Does it clog it too much? It can do. Okay. Uh, the grease could go hard and uh, the pools could stick in. And this is where the winch failure is possible. If the pools stick in like this, the uh, the load of the winch will yep. backwind and the winch handle could go around and hurt someone. Ooh. So it's very critical that no grease gets on the pools. So Lumar sell a race lube. Um, can I use any kind of grease? or? Uh, this is recommended what we use at the moment, so uh, it's worth using the, uh, the manufacturer's recommended uh, lubricants. Okay, and so what do I need to be aware of when I put this in together? Right, once that's assembled, if you rotate that gear, you should hear some clicking. I and see just it also. check that both pools yeah. are springing out. Slotting into them. Yeah. If in doubt, good. just change those springs again. Okay, brilliant. So that one all ready to go, there's the other part of that. Well, as, as we're putting it back together again, it's worth greasing just inside this tracking inside here. This is where the with pools... With the grease or with, with the, the grease, lubricant? With, with the, the grease. Because okay. this is where the pools here touch right. onto the gear. So I need lubricant around the pores and springs. So that's this one here, right? But you're recommending a bit of grease just with a, a brush just inside there. there. All right, great. And also where metal to metal touches, this pool gear actually rests on the bottom of this gear here. So just a little bit of grease on the bottom of there and that will quieten the winch down and freedom of movement then. So it sounds pretty good. It's clicking into uh, place. That sounds like both pools and springs are operating correctly there. So that's okay. ready to plug back into the winch. All right. So we put that one together. Um, tell me about this one. But it's just where we're going to put the oil on the pools. Just a bead there. Just a bead. Just make sure it goes down the sides there. Would you give it a flick just to make sure just it's Just make in? sure that's working okay. fine there. And of course then we just grease slightly around the pool gear inside here. That's with the, the gear grease? Gear grease. Yep. And again, just listen for the two clicks. Okay. And that's ready to put back into the winch. So we're ready to put it back together. So I'll take the smaller gear first. And this goes with that the... That way up, yes. Yep. On that way. So it's actually worth putting a little bit of grease on the base here, where the gear package rests. Okay. So you just wipe a little so bit really of grease on really anywhere, metal on metal. Metal on metal there. A little bit on grease. there for that gear there. Okay. Um, and yep, the larger of the two goes this one here. Pop that in. Quick. So I need to make sure that that seat... Yeah, that flat there. edge there. That's great. Uh, the problem with that, if that doesn't go down fully home, this yep. drum will not sit down properly. So you'll know pretty um, quickly. You'll know pretty quickly.
backside against the main gear. Let me just give it a little wiggle, and there we go. So I can test that now. I can see it's spinning the other gear. So that's spinning one gear. I can see it's moving the other gear. So uh, obviously they're yep. bedded. Once we put it centre spindle in, then you'll notice how, how the winch works. So now I can put a handle in. And put get a winch handle in there. Yep. Take the one touch Lumar handle and now I can drive it around. That and sounds great, doesn't it? And this is just where you can grease the gears. By lightly oh, greasing all these, you can turn the winch handle and you can get even the amount all the way around. Do you want to put some on so we know how much to use? So we can just have right. it around. We can make sure it all goes in all the grooves. So you're dabbing it with? You? Dabbing it, yeah. Trouble is using your finger, all you do is get one big lump in one place. Oh, really? And we'll do the back part as well. That looks good. Okay. Excellent. So uh, do I need to grease the, the yep, centre? Yeah, just slightly grease the So pull it up there, like that? And, yep. and a bit on there on as the well. On the gear as well, yeah. Oh, you're That'd quite the fine. artist, yeah. So give it a wiggle. There we go. Okay, that's good. Great. Now the drum bearings. Okay, so the washer down first. Actually, you might notice on that washer there, there's actually yeah. a, uh, a cutout. Oh. Like, like a little chamfer. Okay. That chamfer should be downwards, and oh. that's what takes out the cutout of that winch. Right. So if I get it the wrong way round, does it make much difference? Not a big difference, but, but it's good uh, to know. just uh, do it properly. Art. Yeah. So spacer in the middle, and then the final bearing. And, and then these are brushes as yeah. well. Grease the. Uh, so I have a go this time. It just. So we're ready for the drum. So I'm ready to put that back over. Just the make sure you grease the uh, teeth of the uh, drum as well, and also inside here, uh, make sure for where the bearings go. Okay, so there's quite a bit of grease there that we did earlier, so we're going to pop that on. Oh, right away, seat it. Sounds good. Next thing are the collets. Little tab pieces. Uh, put a little bit of grease on the collets because they are actually wearing on on the centre spindle here. Oh really? So just put some uh, little bit of grease on side the collets. Either side as those go in. Is that easier to do with fingers? Because obviously uh, my fingers are quite greasy by now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good well being it. <laughs> so I'm ready to put them back in. Let's slide that into place and lift up that centre piece. Just need to lift that centre spindle to engage the collets. Right. Yep. What's next? Mix the feeder arm. And uh, just side. make sure you get the stripper ring fitted located in the back of the stripper ring. Yep. You actually might notice you can put that in any position now. Yep. Uh, so you could turn it around. So if I feel more comfortable sitting over here, yeah, that's right. and tailing, tailing the line, I can adjust. You need that. at least one full turn on the rope to when it comes off the stripper ring. Okay. So for now, if I'm going to tail it here, I'm going to line it. Here we go. And last is the top cap. Great. Now give it a spin. Yep. Sounds all quite sharp. Quite yeah, great. Put the winch hand in. We'll give it the real test. And there we go. Excellent. Sounds great. Thanks very much, Roland. So everything we've used today can be purchased locally or on the internet, where you can also download the winch service manual at lumar.com.